Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a face paint look uh, such as the one you see here using a uh, simple flag such as this one or you can really use any flag or logo. Uh, this is GIMP 2.9.8. You can also follow along with GIMP 2.8 for the most part or older versions of GIMP. 2.9.8 is basically GIMP 2.10 although they're still working on bug fixes for it. Uh, before I get started, I just want you guys to check out my website, daviesmediadesign.com slash tutorials. You'll find video and text tutorials on here. You can also check out our Udemy course, GIMP Photo Editing from Beginner to Pro Photo Retoucher. And I'll put a link to that in the description along with uh, links of the images we'll be using today and links to our social media like our Facebook and our Twitter. So I downloaded uh, the images I used for free on Pixabay and again I'll put the links in the description so I have kind of a photo of this guy and then I have an American flag here and uh, this is the end result and this is actually a, a pretty easy technique and it's a pretty cool final result so I really like it so I'm gonna start just by coming over here to our main layer and I'll just name this man for short uh, just to get rid of that really long title there and I'll duplicate this layer and I'm gonna name this man black white BW. And I'm just gonna come over here to colors, hue saturation, and I'm just gonna turn the saturation all the way down. Click OK. And then I'm going to come over to colors, levels, and just adjust these levels so that the final image is a little darker, a little more pronounced with some of the black and white features and you can do a split view to see a before and after. So I'll click OK. And now what we want to do is uh, apply a uh, layer mask to this so that only the face is black and white. And uh, I'm going to do that by going to uh, Add Layer Mask. So I right clicked on that layer and I went to Add Layer Mask. And I usually do white full opacity but in this case I'm going to do black full transparency. Click Add. And then I'm going to come over to my uh, brush tool and change this to white. And then I'm going to use the brackets on my keyboard to increase the size of this brush. And I'm going to paint over the face. I'll just increase this a little more. I'm going to paint over the face and also some parts of the hairline. And as I paint white, it's uh, painting the black and white effect into our subject here. You can grab your zoom tool and uh, go ahead and zoom in a little bit on our subject here. Grab our paintbrush again and continue painting. And by the way, I'm using a pretty soft brush here. Uh, it was set to 25. I'm going to change that to 50 and then continue to paint. All right, so now just the face is in black and white. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is come over here and grab my uh, American flag. I'm going to go to Edit Copy, come over here and hit Control V on my keyboard or Edit Paste. And that's going to paste this as a floating selection. And I'll just go ahead and create a new layer to put this on its own layer. And then double click and just name this flag. And then I'm going to grab my rotate tool and click and rotate this uh, 90 degrees. So I can come up here and change this to 90 and hit rotate. And then I'm going to um, grab my move tool and move this up a little bit to the center of the face here. Grab my scale tool and go ahead and scale this. And I'm holding Alt and Control as I scale this. And then you can click on the center here to uh, sort of move it, position it where you want it. And keep going here. Basically, I just want this to be almost the same width of the face. You can make it a little smaller because it is going to uh, expand a little bit on our effect we apply onto this. And so I'll hit scale. And I'm going to click on this layer and just decrease the opacity so that we can see the face behind it. And now what I want to do is adjust this so that uh, basically it looks like it contours to the face. So right now it's not very realistic because all the lines are straight on it. And so there's no real perspective or anything on here. So I'm going to start by going to Layer, 
layer to image size, and that's going to put the boundary of this layer all the way out. And then I'm going to come over to filters, distorts, whirl and pinch. And what this does is it kind of bloats the image out. And uh, by doing that, you kind of, you're allowing it to uh, contour to the face, the curves of the face. And so by default, the whirl might be set a little higher, set the whirl to zero. And then I have the pinch set to about points, uh, 0.78. And then you can adjust the radius, which is basically how wide this pinch is going to go. And I have it set to about 0.994. You can use the split view if you want to see a before and after. Uh, and that's in the newest version of GIMP. Then click OK. And so the main thing here is that this flag layer is a little bit too large. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my scale tool and scale it down a little bit. I don't want this too small but I don't want it too large either, either. so I'm just going to hit scale on that. And there is a little bit of excess out here, um, but how we're going to take care of that is with the layer mask. So what I'm going to do is hide this flag layer, and before I... My, my plan is to duplicate this layer mask, uh, but basically what I need to do is I need to make sure that the uh, eyes are painted out, um, because we don't want this effect applying to the eyes. So. I'm going to decrease the size of my brush here and I'm going to set the color to black and then I'm going to grab my zoom tool and zoom in and I'm going to just paint the eyes, control Z, make sure you're on the uh, layer mask and not the layer itself and I'm going to use my bracket keys to adjust the size of this as I paint and so I'm just painting the eyes back in and then I would also do the eyebrows as well. So go ahead and paint the eyebrows back in. And because this is a layer mask, if we uh, mess anything up, we can always paint things back in or we can uh, paint things away, depending on whether you're using black or white as your color as you're painting. And then I'm going to grab my zoom tool and zoom back out. And it's going to look pretty weird right now. Um, but you'll see why uh, we did that in a second. So now what I'm going to do is right click on the layer mask and go to mask to selection. Come over here, right click, add layer mask, and then click selection. And I'm going to unhide that flag layer and go to select none. And now you can see that the flag layer has the same uh, layer mask as the main black and white or the the man black and white layer below it. But obviously this doesn't look great, um, so there's a few things we need to do to sort this out. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, with my flag layer select, to go to Filters, Map, Displace, and basically what this does is it kind of creates um, jittery effects on the uh, flag image so that the flag contours a little better to uh, little nuances in the face and I'll show you in a second. And I'm going to choose my aux input. So for the first one I'm going to grab our uh, flag here. And then for the second one I'm going to grab our main model here, the man. And then I'm going to change this to 5 for the horizontal and vertical displacements. And you don't want to overdo those because that will uh, make the effect uh, a little too harsh. And I'm going to check this center displacement checkbox as well and just keep the settings the same there and then click OK. So as you can see the layers on this layer mask are a little too harsh so to um, solve that problem we're just going to go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur and we were selected on the layer mask there and I just have the blur set to about 3 on here. And then I'm going to click on the American flag and we're just going to blur that a bit because it is a bit too sharp right now. So I'll go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur and I'm going to crank this down to about 2 and click OK. And now what I want to do is go ahead and duplicate this uh, main layer here and move this to the top and then I'm going to change the mode to grain merge and then I'm actually going to do the same on uh, I'm going to duplicate this layer actually first. I'm going to change the mode of the first one to grain merge. And then the mode of the second one I'm going to change to burn. And I'm going to decrease the burn uh, layer a little bit. 
and then you can play around with this grain merge layer. And then sort of an optional step here is you can um, go onto your layer mask and go ahead and paint some of the uh, parts over here on the side where there is no design because um, this doesn't really need to be you know that black and white color. And another thing we can do is clean up some of this um, if you guys really want. You can see that some of the uh, paint kind of spills over here off of the face and you'll have to um, go ahead and paint over all three of your layer masks here to ensure that it's cleaned up um, throughout the entire image. And another thing you can do is um, if you want more of this fly kind of spilling into the hairline, you can uh, go ahead and sort of paint white along the hairline here. And that's going to cause a little bit more overlap. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash daviesmediadesign. Also visit our website at daviesmediadesign.com slash tutorials. You can enroll in our Udemy photo editing course. Uh, I'm gonna include the link to that in the description. You can also follow us on Twitter at daviesmediades or on Facebook at facebook.com slash daviesmediadesign. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.